from one to three. One, two, three. Let me explain this. When he comes with a straight thrust, I shift my body to the left and execute kaishitsuki. He parries before my kaishitsuki reaches his chest. Then for two, he attacks with chokuzuki, and I step off to the right to receive his jo. Then I parry the jo downward and thrust. The founder said you could either press down his jo or attack his arm and thrust. He said that whichever you do, you should be careful to avoid injury in the basic practice. There's a potential problem here. If your right arm raises too high, you will draw his jo in towards you. This is dangerous. We lower the right arm and deflect his jaw downward. The action is executed through the movement of the right hand and then we thrust. I'll do it once again. One, two, three. Now I'll explain movements four through six. Starting from the number three position, four, five, six. Let me explain this. We parry the ski and strike to the side of his head, and he steps backwards to parry the jaw. Then he takes one step forward and executes a reverse strike. We avoid his strike by shifting to the left and strike his forehead. At this point, there are a number of possible variations for him, although the number of movements does not change. Now he will finish with a left thrust. Four, five, six. Now we will show another variation. Four, five, six. Now these two sequences of one, two, three, and four, five, six will be combined in a single series. One, two, three, four, five, six. Now skipping over seven and eight, we'll execute nine through eleven. Seven, eight, from here. Nine, Ten, eleven. Let me explain these. From six to eight, I attack in the rear direction while he steps forward from behind. Then I sweep backward to execute movement nine, drawing my leg to the rear. He comes to strike my head. At this point, I execute movement 10, striking him at the wrist. Then we finish the sequence with movement 11, executing a decisive strike. Now we'll execute 1 through 12. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, Eight, nine, ten, eleven. Now from thirteen, 
to 17. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. I will explain this. First, it is important for him not to carry my thrust using his left hand in this manner. This is incorrect. The right way is to parry using the right hand and assume a ready stance. Then the 15th and 16th movements become a single movement. 13, 14, 15, 16 become a single movement. I'll now execute 18 through 22. 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. Let me explain these. We strike down the thrust to the side, releasing our right hand and using our left hand. Then we execute the lower thrust or Gedanski. Then we execute Gedanski. At this point, movement 20 and 21 become a single movement. As he raises his jaw, we execute a thrust to the pit of the stomach. Now we'll execute movements 13 to 22 as a series. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22. 22. Now we'll perform movements 22 through 27. 22. 23, 24, 25, 26, 27. We completed the last series with number 22. When we begin the series starting with 22, he avoids my number 22 thrusting movement and he executes an upward thrust. 22, 23, and 25, 26 become single movements. Now from 27 to 31. 27, 28, 29, 30, 31. Now from 13 through 31. 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 20, 21, 22, 23, 24, 25, 26, 27, 28, 29, 30, 31.